Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com and today I'm going to tell you about the sub-micro drive that is created by AC Tech Lenza Group and this sub-micro drive has been around the industrial world for quite a while now, I think it's six to ten years, somewhere around there and it's an extraordinarily, extraordinarily well-priced package for the IP20 enclosure for those of you who are looking into IP20 enclosures IP20 is basically an enclosure that's typically mounted within a cabinet or uh, it's outside of any kind of area that can cause you know, any kind of damage to the drive itself or to, you know, the exposed leads cause damage to other people. Now, this drive is the red faceplate one, which means it's the SCM series. But uh, let me tell you the features of all of the sub-micros. Each series has general uh, general features, and then uh, there's a specialized series, a specialized model in each series that uh, I'll go into a little more detail here in a little bit. Now, the sub-micro drives all are UL approved for thermal overload. Uh, it has eight preset speeds. Can't really do eight there, but it's got eight preset speeds. It has a zero to 10 volt DC or, no, I'm sorry, and a four to 20 milliamp speed reference. So you can use one or the other. Uh, it's got DC braking, relay or transistor outputs, depending on the model. Uh, three or more programmable inputs, current limit up to uh, 180%, fault history of up to eight of the previous faults it's incurred. It's allowed to be programmed through either the drive face or you have the up and down. You can use your, uh, you can siphon through the pa uh, parameters here and change them as needed. You can select mode, obviously, to change the mode of the drive or change the menu within the drive. Uh, it can also be programmed with a remote keypad, which is sold separately, and you can mount it either inside your cabinet or get an external enclosure to mount it. It's NEMA 4. And uh, you can also program it with a PC with TechLink or through this EPM programmer I'll talk about a little more in a second. The uh, control terminals are actually isolated, so here's your control uh, terminal blocks here. Uh, it's highly visible, has a highly visible three-digit LED display, so you can see up to three digits on this display. Uh, it's quite has quiet motor operation, of course. It'll run forward and reverse, uh, and it also, all of these models, all of the submicros and the SMVs actually include a two-year warranty. So those are the basic features that are included in all the submicro drives. Now this drive in particular is the SCM series. It's the basic and beyond model, as they call it. It's feature rich for motor control applications that require variable speed, so standard volts for hertz mode, and, cross -effective, and cost effective enough if you don't need to vary the speed. In other words, if you just need it as a phase converter, for example, you bring 120 volts into the top, this is your input voltage, and you can bring your motor leads out the bottom at 240 volt three phase. So you got single phase coming in, three phase coming out. So that allows you, allows you to run a three phase motor with single phase power. One of the that's one of the most common uses for this. Of course, the other most common uses for energy savings, you bring in your, uh, your standard voltage here, whether it's 120 volt, 240 volt, 480 volt, and you uh, bring this out to your motor, 120 volt, I'm sorry, 240 volt, 340 volt, 480 volt, <laughs> I'm sorry, and you vary the speed of it, or you program one of the speed presets to either turn down the speed or turn up the speed at certain situations, maybe a change in pressure or whatever your criteria might be, so you save energy over time. Those are the two most popular purposes of the SCM. Uh, now, of course, you know the difference between the versions by the color. This is the red faceplate SCM series. Now, the SCL is basically the European. It has a purple faceplate. That's a European. Uh, it's basically the same exact drive, but it has a filter built into it to meet the rigorous European standards for EMI and RFI noise suppression. So it's just a little bit different just for that European standard. But you have no need. if you have no need for to meet that standard, then you won't even look at the purple SCL series. The SCF is the dark gray paneled one and uh, when your application requires more functionality the SCF has additional I.O. to meet your needs. So it has a also on, included on top of the standard inputs that I mentioned earlier. This one will also have a two-wire RS-485 network port so you can use your 485 communications if necessary to talk to it. Uh, it also allows for either a two-wire or three-wire start-stop without programming Additional I.O. provides for uh, two solid state outputs and two analog outputs for the uh, speed and load. The SCF also has the option, uh, optional model that offers set point PI control or control high speed motors up to 1000 hertz output frequency. So that's, the most, that's one of the most common ones we sell. The SCM we sell the most of. The SCF we probably sell the third most of. The SCD has the blue faceplate. That's really the exact same IP20. Uh, SCM model or the basic generic submicro model, but it has device net built into it, so you can actually communicate to the drive over device net. The TCF is the second most popular one we sell, and that is the sensorless vector. It has a white faceplate, 
It's for constant torque applications that operate at low speeds. The TCF will provide full motor torque below 1 hertz. That's less than 30 RPM for a standard four-pole four pole motor. The TCF can be configured for standard volts per hertz operation if necessary. You'll use the auto-tune feature for that. Or it can be configured for vector mode. In vector mode, the TCF can be configured for either speed or torque control. Now, the other optional module options available for this is there's a remote keypad you can get that will actually let you, like I said before, it's a NEMA 4, NEMA 4X standard. You can mount to an external enclosure and it'll let you control all of the functionality of the drive remotely. There's a dynamic braking kit for, uh, it's got pre-packaged resistor modules for, with control electronics, provide easy mounting in the control cabinet. CE filters for meeting CE standards. SEL has that built in. The SEL is the dark purple European standard one, of course. Uh, it has a DIN rail mounting kit you can purchase separately if you have DIN rail mounting in your cabinet. A PI set point control, but that's for the SCF. That's the dark gray one only. High frequency output, 1000 hertz. That's the SCF, the dark gray one again, only. Uh, it has through hole mounting, so sub micro drives can be ordered for through hole mounting, putting putting the heat sink on the outside of the drive enclosure for better thermal management. It has a black anodized heat sink with gasket that will meet NEMA 4 and NEMA 4X, and no fans or other electronics outside the enclosure. Now, the EPM programmer uh, is the separate, it's a separate programmer that you can use to program this little, this little module here. Now, this module is really nice if, you, if you're purchasing a large number of the IP20s or if you have a large number of machines and you need to replace one, you can pull out the module and you can put it in an identical drive and it'll actually already be pre-programmed for your application for whatever parameters you had set. So the EPM programming module is actually an extremely useful feature of these drives if you're planning on, you're an OEM and you're planning on building a large number of them or supporting a large number of them, or let's say you're running, you know, you're the head of maintenance and you want to make sure that all your drives are running with very, very limited downtime. You know, if a drive goes down and the off chance does go down, you can just pull out the module, put it in an identical unit and you'll be off and going again. So that's a really good feature of the, uh, of the AC Tech Lenza series. It's actually included in the SM Vector as well. Now, other than that, there's not a whole lot else to say. The SCM goes up to 15 horsepower. That's, again, depending on your input voltage. Uh, the SCF series will go up to 30 horsepower. Now, again, that is the full featured model. Um, we have the SED, which will go up to 30 horsepower as well. And that is your device net mod, uh, your device net light blue version. The TCF, which is our second most popular, only goes up to 10 horse. Now, remember, the SM Vector will also run in uh, torque mode and also run in vector mode. So if you need something larger than 10 horse for vector mode, just let us know. The SM Vector will have all that capability as well. And uh, the SCL will only go up to 3 horsepower. And again, that is for the European standard. Now, as you know, we sell these sub-micro drives along with the SM Vector drives. Many of you might be wondering what the difference is between the two. Uh, the SM Vector is actually in a NEMA 1 enclosure. It's not in this IP20. So the NEMA 1, it allows for a lot, you know, a little bit dirtier environments. Uh, the NEMA, it also has a NEMA 4X version. Uh, the SM Vector will do everything this drive does, plus the full sensorless vector mode, full torque control mode. Uh, it's basically a full featured package, which is why it's our most popular drive. But if you just need basic service and basic speed control or basic torque control in an IP20 enclosure, the sub micro drive is what you're looking for. And remember, you can reach us at 574-256-1000 uh, if you have any questions. We have a full engineering department that's ready to answer your questions. All of our pricing includes technical support, so you don't have to worry about paying for a service contract. And don't forget to visit the website at precision-elect.com. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to ask questions if you have any more. Thanks again.